Today we are going to demonstrate the outlet forceps delivery. These are the outlet forceps, also called the Wrigley's forceps. It has got certain features which must be understood before application. Each plate has got blade, shaft, and handle, and it has got a sliding lock. These blades has got two curves. Cephalic curve, the convex one, and the pelvic curve. It's strongly pelvic anatomy. Before application of these forceps, they must be aligned, assembled properly, facing the cephalic curve to each other, and make sure that they slide and lock properly. Before application of the forceps, all the prerequisite criteria must be fulfilled. That is, the pelvis is adequate and the fetus is in cephalic presentation with occipital anterior or occipital posterior position. It can't be applied on the occipital transverse position and the cervix must be fully dilated. First, the left blade of the mother is selected. It is lubricated with the paraffin before application. The left, the obstetrician right hand is inserted between the left maternal vaginal wall and fetal head to guide the forcep blade. It is inserted to direct it at 90 degree, degree from anteriorly and split between the hand and the fetal head. The blade must be positioned in the center of the pelvis. Now ask your assistants to hold this blade in the center. Now take the left, right, left blade, again lubricate it. Now pull your left hand between the fetal head and the maternal right lateral vaginal wall. And again in the same way, sweep this blade between your hand and the fetal head. After the insertion of two, this blade must lock properly. The immediate and easy locking means that the position has been rightly assessed. If they doesn't lock, do not apply pressure to make them lock. Unlocking or inability to lock easily means the position has been incorrectly assessed, so reassess the position. Now, wait for the maternal contractions to come. Ask your assistant to give a proper perineal support. Now, when the patient drop contractions, your these fingers will help the baby head to flex and stop traction in the line of pelvic axis that is initially downward and posteriorly. At the time of crowning, ask your assistant to give an episiotomy and then change the line of traction from posterior and downward to anterior and upward will help baby to come out. After the baby had delivered, pull the baby downward and posteriorly to assist in the delivery of the baby body.